What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we got a box of nickels from May of 2024. We picked it up at a Franklin Square, New York Chase Bank. This is hunt number 21, box number 24. Let's see if we can fill our albums up with more coins or get some silver buffaloes or proofs. Either way, the box is circulated, so let's begin the hunt. I'll let you know when I get my first find. First roll of the box, we got ourselves a 1942, though I don't think it's silver just by the way it looks, and it isn't. If it was, we'd have a mint mark above the Monticello, which in this case we don't, nor do we have one at the side, indicating that it's a Philadelphia 1942 clad coin, but it's our first find of the hunt. In addition, at the end of the roll, we got ourselves a 1955 Denver. So two nice coins in this first roll to start off this hunt and fill. Towards the end of roll number three, we got ourselves another oldie, a 1959 Denver. Roll number four, we're going to get a 1956 Denver to add to the stack. Roll number seven, towards the end, we're going to get ourselves an oldie. 1941 we're still on roll seven and i was just scanning the edges to make sure i didn't miss anything and i did at first until i'm not sure if you can see it but we got ourselves a buffalo nickel right over here there is no min mark otherwise it'd be in between the e and the c at the bottom of the coin as you see there is no mint mark here on the scope so let's go ahead and flip it over, see if we got a readable date, which it doesn't look like we do, but we'll put it under the scope again, just to make sure. As you see, there is no readable date right over here. So possibly some nickel date will help that in the future, but we got our first Buffalo nickel, even though it is a no date of the box and it's only roll number seven. Hopefully this box continues to show some good signs and we get some good finds, but a buffalo this early is a gift, nonetheless. Looks like roll number eight. We're going to have another oldie. A 1949 Philadelphia. If it was a San Francisco, it would be a fill in the album, but I'll take it. Roll number 16. We got ourselves another oldie. About time. 1954 Philadelphia. Roll number 21. We got ourselves another 1941 Philadelphia. The next roll, we're going to get ourselves another oldie, this time a 1947 Philadelphia. Roll number 23, and as only fitting, we get another 1941 Philadelphia. Roll number 24, looks like we got ourselves a 1954 with a Denver mint mark. Anything else in this roll? few possibilities but nothing actually standing out we got ourselves a 1954 denver to add to the growing stack the same role look at this guys we got ourselves a 2009 denver with just less than 50 million of these minted in 2009 right after the 2008 market crash cool coin don't really pull these too often but glad that we have another one to add to the archives well, I flipped this nickel over thinking that it was just a common date because its condition is so nice. Turns out it's a nice condition, 1951, Philadelphia. Roll number 32. Look at the condition of this coin. We got ourselves a 1941 Philadelphia in just beautiful shape added to the stack now. Roll number 35 of this hunt, guys. Look at we got. We got that five cents over here. We got ourselves another buffalo. It's going to be another Philadelphia. But this time we got a readable date of 1936. And we just found one in the last box as well. But another 1936 Philadelphia. Just under 119 million of these minted is always a good find. Especially when you get that readable date. 1936 Philadelphia buffalo nickel found in circulation. 15 rolls to go. Roll number 37 is going to give us another oldie. At the end of the roll, a 1946 Philadelphia. Roll number 39, we're going to get another oldie, a 1954 Philadelphia. 
It's been a little bit of time, but we finally have another oldie. This 1947 Philadelphia. Roll number 48, we got the last year of the oldies with this 1959 Denver. Well, at the end of roll number 49, it seems like we got ourselves another 1959 Denver. With roll number 50 laid out, it looks like we're going to have a little bit of last row luck. It's a beater, but it is a 1958 Denver. All right, guys, time to go through our finds from this episode of the Nickel Hunt and Phil, where we got some 2005, some 1998s, all to add to our collection as well as some possible upgrades. If they're not upgrades, they'll go right into our archive collection. But the main finds of the hunt are over here. In total, we found two San Francisco modern coins, a 1970 and another 1970, so two 1970s. We found a total of nine 1940s coins and 10 1950s, but the best finds have to be the 2009 Denver that we found. In addition, we found two buffaloes. One buffalo was a non-dater, so we will use Nicodate at some point in time to see what the year that coin is. And using Nicodate isn't the worst thing for these buffalo nickels, because a buffalo nickel with no date is probably about 25 cents. So for the collection point of view of this series, we will be using Nicodate just to find out that date of the coin. It is a Philadelphia since there is no mint mark, same as this coin, no mint mark on the back of the coin, but it is a readable date, 1936, and we'll see if it's an upgrade for our collection. So, time to go to the books to see what we could fill and potentially upgrade. Alright guys, so this was a successful hunt. No upgrades in volume number three. However, we did have one upgrade in volume number two. And that was one of the earlier coins in the book. That is the 1968 Denver that we found. It will be our first upgrade of the hunt. Only 91.2 million of these coins minted. And to find one in a condition like that is just amazing. So, one upgrade in volume number two. Next up is volume number three. And we saw ourselves three upgrades, which is pretty nice. A 1941 Philadelphia. When I found that, I was like, wow. That coin is from the 1940s, and sure it was, so it will be our first upgrade in our collection. We also are going to upgrade a slightly better 1947, as well as a 1951. With only 28.55 million of them minted, we found one in pretty nice condition here. Does have some gunk on it, but finer details than the last 1951 in our collection, so that will be our third upgrade of this album. Moving on to our Buffalo Nickel album, we will have also one upgrade in this album, which will be the 1936 Philadelphia that we found. We did find one in the last box. This one is just a little bit more finer detail uh, than the previous one, and that's why it's going in the book. And with that last upgrade, that means we have two Buffalo Nickels going into our blank album, and the first one will be the No Dater. The second will be that 1936 that we did upgrade. So we're making way with this album with a lot of buffaloes. Two more added to the album from the hunt. So it was a very successful hunt for Hunt and Fill number 21, box number 24. Three upgrades in volume number one and one in volume number two for a total of four upgrades. No fills. So that means we're still 180 of 192 coins in the collection or 93.8% done. I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of the Nickel Hunt and Phil, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching, and happy hunting.